Doctors usually wait until stage four chronic kidney disease to even give a damn. Not noticing or realizing that your chances of dying from cardiovascular causes are increased way earlier than that. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Dan, and today we're talking about chronic kidney disease and the five stages that really encompasses all of it. Chronic kidney disease is an irreversible, progressive, and deadly disease where our kidneys lose function in filtering out all those toxins that is found in our blood, making sure our body is in a status quo. A lot of us take our kidneys for granted because we really fail to conceptualize how much our kidneys do. They don't just sit there filtering out blood, they actually control the entire system. I'll give you an example, erythropoietin. That is a hormone that is used to produce more red blood cells. What about the enzyme renin? Renin's there to help control our blood pressure. And the list continues. It does all of these wonderful things just to keep us alive and healthy. And when that part of the system is damaged and doesn't run as efficiently as it's supposed to be, there is a change in the entire system and vasculature. Why is this important? It's important because there's a direct correlation with cardiovascular disease and worsening kidney function and higher stages of chronic kidney disease. That's why I always recommend to everybody, make sure you're getting screened. Check your EGFR, also known as your estimated glomerular filtration rate. Check that one to four times a year to really see how your kidneys are handling filtration and if they are for some reason declining, what stage you fit in and what we can start doing to minimize any of the impact. Now believe it or not, stage one of chronic kidney disease has an EGFR of 90 or above. Sometimes shocking some patient to say that, hey, stage one is actually pretty high up there. At this point or at this stage, there really isn't much to panic about. A few lifestyle changes, which we'll talk about in a different video, but incorporating some lifestyle changes and really being proactive instead of reactive could really go a long way in this stage. Stage two of chronic kidney disease is labeled as having an EGFR of 60 to 89. At this stage, there is already showcases of mild kidney damage. It's still not something to panic about. However, if you have not started incorporating any lifestyle changes that your provider has shared with you, the time is now. The reason I put so much emphasis on prevention and starting as early as possible, because once you slip out of stage two and enter stage 3A, which stage three is broken down into an A and a B, once you enter stage 3A, that is when the risk of dying, the risk of all these other aspects come out to play. Stage 3A is defined as having an EGFR of 45 to 59. At this point in the game, there's higher level of kidney damage, and this is where it would be optimal to start medicinal therapy. The reason for the recommendation of starting prescription or medicinal therapy at this point, it's because and I'm gonna lean in on this one. At stage 3A, your chance of dying from cardiovascular causes is now two times greater than a person with normal kidney function. Remember what I said earlier? At this point, doctors still don't even reach for anything to help you, which is why you need to be on top of it. You need to be more well-versed 
you need to tell the doctor to step up their game. If a multiple of two is already terrifying, then what about stage 3B? Stage 3B of chronic kidney disease is defined as having an EGFR of 30 to 44. At this point, you are now at 4x multiple of dying from cardiovascular causes than a person with normal kidney function. The sad reality is that only when you reach stage four do the red lights start flashing and the alarms start blaring and then the doctor would get up to consider a medication because nine times out of 10, they just get their referral and send you to nephrology. In my professional opinion, starting anything at stage four, it is way too late. On the topic of stage four, stage four is defined as having an EGFR of between 15 to 29. At this point of the game, you have severe kidney damage and they're close to not working whatsoever. Going down from stage 3B to stage 4, your chances of dying from cardiovascular causes are increased now by 5x. And to close up the five stages of chronic kidney disease, Stage five is defined as having an EGFR of less than 15. If you're in this stage, nine out of 10 patients have end-stage renal disease and are on their way to dialysis. All of this could be prevented or at least slowed down if we raised awareness among people like yourselves and our doctors that we trust our lives with. I recently made a very heartfelt video that really came from the heart in raising awareness of chronic kidney disease. I'm going to link it up right here, or it could be here. This is the first time I ever point to a video. Wherever the video pops up, consider giving it a watch because it's one way of not only staying on top of your chronic kidney disease if you have it, but it's also a way to protect a loved one and getting involved as early as possible. Click on this video and please consider subscribing because every time you subscribe, like, and share this video, that is $1 less on my infamous doctoral student loans. With that being said, have a wonderful day and I'll see you on the next video.